What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by as always, I appreciate it. I'm trying to get these numbers up a little. Uh, next car is in the booth, a nice triple white Golf Clipper. Uh, European car, I believe it's spent most of its life in Spain. So completely rust free, which is awesome. It's back over in this country. It's had a load of work done recently. Um, the car basically wants for nothing. The owner just loves this thing to death. So to put it in perspective, he shipped it back over here. It has had a wheel refurb, but they've been completely stripped and repainted. So they look spot on. It's had a new vinyl roof and that vinyl is the same vinyl that they used when the car was produced. It was shipped over from Germany especially, so there was quite a long wait on that. The interior has been retrimmed it, using the original fabric from back in the day and not just that, but with the leftover fabric, he's had the trimmers make car seats, uh, car covers that look exactly the same as the sheet, so as the seats. So when you walk by it, you wouldn't even know there was a cover on it and then you can just pull them off and throw them in the washing machine. I mean, that is just like chef's kiss. That is perfect, you know, and they look, they look brilliant. Uh, it's had some mechanical work done, electrics, brakes, everything. I mean, the car is just good to go and we have the sprinkles on top now. It, it's not, my usual type of work really um, it's in for a bit of everything rather than a lot of something um, even though it's had all this work done it again it's six or one half a dozen of the other really even though the, ro the roof's new unfortunately it's it's sort of already dirty and stained and, and I'm not so sure that it's not discoloured in places, which, which is a bit of a bummer. So I need to clean that up and at least get some protection on it. Just try and get it back to, as back, as back to factory as possible. Um, wheels have got to come off. I mean, they're immaculate, but I just want to clean them and seal them with a coating. Again, easy life. Uh, the interior needs looking at because even though it's been retrimmed, something's been shellacked on all the plastics, you know, just like a horrible silicon thing that all needs pulling off. Um, the usual stuff, there's dust in the vents and all the nooks and crannies, so it needs a good interior detail as well. It is pretty, it's pretty mint in reality, but it's just, it's just the little details that need taking care of. Um, glass needs polishing because it's a bit cloudy. There's some decals of tarnish that need pulling off. We've already got replacements for them. But it, as always, it's the paintwork that needs looking at. So because the car wants for nothing and everything has been dealt with when it's been needed, rather than having one big paint job, it's had lots of paint done as and when. So we're full of blend lines. <laughs> really, really bad texture in places and I've run around with a gauge just quickly and there's not a lot of paint to play with either so it, it's not a mega in-depth polishing job but I definitely want to try and dumb down that texture a bit so we're probably going to approach it as a dual stage again as usual um, low and slow with the microfiber pads just try and or maybe even the denim pads I'll have a play it depends on the removal rates and, and the finishing how it finishes out but I just want to try and massage some of that texture out a little bit so it looks a little bit less patchy it's white white cars never match when they're done in pieces but it's not a million miles out so it shouldn't be too noticeable when it's done but I really do want to deal with that texture um, wheels will be coated the paint will be coated um, and I'll probably just wipe over the interior with a nice like interior detailer, but nothing, nothing too in depth there. So job one for me now, we need to give it a clean, obviously. I don't like jet washing old cars. I try and avoid it whenever possible. I just don't want to force 
water into areas that it probably shouldn't be where it can sit and potentially rust. So we'll use some mild cleaners, um, APCs to get in all the nooks and crannies. Uh, we'll get the steamer out so we can chase the chemicals out and just deep clean those areas. Um, I'll give the whole thing an ONR bath, um, which really, really limits the amount of water that we use, obviously, in forcing places, and nothing's at pressure. I mean, it's a pretty clean car anyway. It's just about getting into all the nooks and crannies and the bits that, obviously, the owner hasn't in the past, or whoever's been washing it and looking after it. And then we can put it back in here, um, and we can do a walk round of the defects. So, let's get it cleaned, decontaminated, Put back in here and we'll get the inspection on the go. I'll catch you on the other side.
Okay, so uh, good news, bad news. The roof's come up loads better, but it's not, it's not perfect as I had wanted it to be. Um, I may just try some different chemicals at the end just to see if we can get it any better. If, if that's where we have to leave it, that's okay. It's tons better than it was, but there's bits of grease, I think, from when it's been folded away that I wanted to try to get out, but that's, that's by the by. Um, everything's nice now, everything's good. I need to strip off the wipers and the trim, the side trims. We've got fresh clips inside in case we break any, which we rarely do, but it's nice to have them. Um, the washer jets are already loose for some reason, so hopefully that can just, I can squeeze that on the inside and pop that off and that's out of the way then. Uh, like I say, it's not a really, really heavy polishing, it's not a very polishing heavy job, but it's always nice to get those bits out of the way and especially the side mouldings, because there's a lot of crap that hides in there and working up to a moulding is rubbish when you can just pull it out of the way and work past it and it's nice. Um, so I'll set you up on the hyperlapse. I'll get that done now um, and then we'll do that walk around and we'll do the inspection together. See you shortly.
Okay, so test spot number one done. So, from a, a five foot stair, well happy with that. I mean, you've not just, you brighten the paint up, forget the swirls for a second, you brighten the paint up way more white there than it is there, that's great. You've also tons more clarity there than you have there. And if I can zoom in and manually focus on this. Spin that wheel there. So that be Eurofiber pads, 15 millimeter throw, and Sonax cut max for a change. And I am happy with that. Isn't that nice? So we may have to do a little bit of tweaking, but as a start, well happy. So let's set you up and let's get some nice, uh, nice video. I was working around the car. <laughs> 